In today's video, I played against Alex, who's a junior in high school. He's number one in his recruiting high school class and a 12.75 UTR. I lost to him a day earlier in practice, but luckily I didn't have my camera, so does it really count? He has a great serve, amazing touch, and good volleys. Before we get into the match highlights, I'd like to share my opinion on how I think Alex got to such a high level at a young age. I played against another high schooler who was a 12 UTR in a previous video. If you haven't seen that video, make sure you go check it out. I was nowhere near their level at that age, 16 or 17. But looking back, I feel like if I knew what I knew now, I could maybe do it also. The three takeaways to getting to that level is one, many people don't focus enough time on their serve. Alex has a great serve and he won so many free points from his first serve. So work on your serve. I'll do an instructional video in the future on how I transform my serve at 26, 27 years old. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss that video. The second takeaway is he probably spent countless hours practicing. So there are really no shortcuts. Make sure you practice. If you don't have that much time, make your practices efficient. I like to mix it up with live ball drilling and also feeding. I feel like a lot of people neglect the feeding part and that's very crucial to help you develop your game. The third point is don't give away too many free points and matches. So many players like to hit flashy winners and big shots, but if you look at my tennis, it's very simple and straightforward. I just make more balls and I work hard for the point. Now let's jump into the match highlights and make sure you stick around to hear another tip from the match. Let's get into it. My main goal at the beginning of every match is to find out how I'm playing that day and also to see how my opponent plays. Is he an aggressive player? Is he a pusher? Does he make a lot of mistakes? And the best way to figure this out is to make more balls. Make the first serve, make the return, don't give away free points. In this point, I was getting pushed back, so I tried to just keep my balls deeper in the court so he can't attack more. Once he hit a slower, softer one, I went down the line, and um, once I saw that he was about to slice, I was getting ready for my forehand to start attacking and be more aggressive. I probably could have hit a better shot on this, but I saw that he was off the court and all I wanted to do was make it. Luckily, he missed that forehand volley. So he just hit a couple good drop shots on me. Um, nothing really I can do. I just have to get ready for those next time and be more alert. Wow, that was a good passing shot. <laughs> nice sir. So you see Alex sliced again and you can see that I turned to my forehand again. Man, there's another one. So 3-1 deuce is very important because 4-1 and 3-2 are completely different. My main goal is to make the return. Ah! 
Man, at this point, I'm starting to get a little mad because the dude's killing me on those drop shots. Another one. Another one. Oof, that was too good. When I was up 4-2, I was pretty comfortable, pretty confident because I was hitting my serves really well. But at 4-all, I started to get a little nervous. I'm serving down 4-5. Luckily, um, I had a good service game, made a lot of first serves, so that was really key to hold. Whenever it's close, like 3-all, 4-all, 5-all, it's really important that you try to win the first couple of points. And luckily on break point, he gave me that. Yeah, nice. thing I'd like to point out is I don't advocate players hit too many drop shots in a match. I feel like they tend to overdo it or try to be too cute with it and that tends to lead to more errors and mistakes and it's sort of like a bailout instead of you trying to work the point. You can tell Alex practiced this shot a lot but more importantly he hit the drop shot at the right time. I was always farther back behind the baseline or off balanced it's not how good to hit the drop shot, it's when you hit the drop shot. I also think my drop shots are pretty freaking good, so if you want to see an instructional video on how to do that, let me know in the comments down below. Hope you guys liked the video. See y'all in the next one.